Hey everybody, welcome back to another iSnipe video tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to add Spindrift, Coriolis, and Eidfos correction to iSnipe version 3.0. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first let's talk about uh, what these things are. Spindrift, Coriolis effect, Eidfos effect. First let's talk about Spindrift. Spindrift is a phenomenon that happens because the bullet that leaves your barrel is spinning. Because of that it's going to displace air around it and that will make it move one direction or the other. For most guns they're rifled in a right hand twist and because of that your bullet is going to offset to the right. Uh, if you happen to have a custom left hand twist barrel of course it would offset to the left. The next thing to talk about is the Coriolis and Eidfos effect. These phenomena occur because of the movement of the earth relative to the bullet. Uh, if you're shooting short distances this will be insignificant but as you start to reach out to a thousand meters and beyond uh, this starts to become a significant factor. The good news is we can compensate for all three of these effects using the Miller-Litz stability algorithm. Alright so let's go ahead and put some numbers to uh, this explanation. We're going to start by doing uh, a compute with the values we have right now. Uh, we're going to start by eliminating wind though and we're just going to enter zero for that and we're going to go ahead and compute. Alright so let's scroll down to a thousand yards and we're going to have a look at how far we've moved here. In this case we're looking at about 335 inches and uh, let's, let's see how this changes as we introduce uh, Spindrift, Coriolis, and the Eidfos effect. Alright, so let's go back here and we're going to enable the uh, engine upgrade to uh, compensate for these, these effects. We're going to go into the settings and over to upgrades. Now I'm using a computer simulator so uh, I don't have a price and when I click on this it's going to be an instant purchase but on your phone there will be uh, 99 cents will show up in the top right corner and when you click on this it will ask you for your password uh, so that it can go ahead and charge you that 99 cents to your iTunes account and it will download the engine upgrade and you're off and running. Alright let's go back and check out some of the new fields that this it gives us. We'll head into the, the round area and click New. And you notice we have an extra field here labeled Bullet Length. And this is the length of your projectile. For the Lapoisinar, we actually already know the, the length in our database. But there are certainly a number of uh, projectiles in our database uh, that don't have a length or a known length at the moment. We encourage uh, all of you guys to measure your bullets uh, if you find that they're not already in our database and email them off to me and I'll make sure it's uh, included in the next update. Alright, so uh, we can go ahead and, and go back since we are, you know, we've already saved this value. And we'll head into the firearm and we can see that we've got uh, two extra fields here, barrel length and rifle twist rate. Barrel length is pretty self-explanatory, it's just the length of your barrel. And rifle twist rate is uh, usually expressed in a ratio, uh, something like 1 to 9 or 1 to 12. Alright, so we'll go ahead and enter our barrel length. And the twist rate of this barrel is 1 to 12. Click Done, Next, and we'll click to save this in our rifle section. Uh, next we'll go into Range. And we can see we have uh, three extra fields here. Compass heading, this is your magnetic heading or uh, the heading that would read on a compass. Your longitude and latitude. We can go ahead and click the little blue button here next to compass heading and uh, use the graphical tool. Again we want to be aiming at our target to uh, set this properly. And if you have a newer device that has a compass ability you can um, just hold your device up and this, this needle will move around. Uh, if you don't have that functionality, you can just uh, click and hold on the wheel here and set it manually. Alright, let's go back. And uh, again, if, if you have a GPS chip in your, in your device, you can go ahead and use the locator button up here and it will uh, auto find your latitude and longitude. In this case, I, I don't have it with the simulator, so I'll just enter it in manually.
and click done and next to save this. All right, so we have all our values in and uh, our wind is still at zero and we'll go ahead and compute and we'll scroll down to a thousand yards again. You'll notice that our path has now changed. We're looking at 333 and you'll notice that we have 10 inches of drift in the horizontal position or in the windage position. And you can imagine as we head out to uh, much further distances, say 18 or 2000, uh, we're looking at a uh, significant, significant drift here. And that's the gist of spin drift and Coriolis Itfus effect. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.